What's up guys? My name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Archivet YouTube channel. Today we're going to be working on Cameron's Dodge, which is an 04, you said third gen? Third gen. Third gen Dodge. And what we're going to be doing is switching out the headlights and the fog lights with some LED lights here. Now we've already done one of them because we did it at the store to make sure it worked and it was right. However, we're going to get into detail on how to actually do this, show you guys the process, and hope that it'll help you guys out while you do it too. Real quick though, hit that red subscribe button. Don't forget, we're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. With you guys' help and three of your friends, we're going to get there in no time. And if you're seeing this after that point, we're still trying to hit another goal, so check out another video. Check out one of the latest ones, and we will catch you guys here in a second. Show sure that intro. <laughs> so the first thing is we gotta take off his, uh, I, what do you call that, front red light cover brush guard, because this actually separates from his. Yep. So you don't gotta take the whole thing off, you just gotta take off that little piece. Take up the, yes sir. So that's what we're working on right now. And as you can see, there's, a, there's three, three nuts, three bolts. This side. You just got this thing, didn't you? Yep. Uh, what? A couple months ago? A couple months ago. Then my old lady decided to wreck it. <laughs> you got a lot of TikTok stuff in your head now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. So just like that, it'll come off. Sit down right here. And now we can get to the headlight. So we got two bolts on this side. Ten millimeters. So one here, one there, and then down inside. All the way here. down in there. <laughs> See that guy? We gotta get that. <laughs> Does this need to come off of here too? On this guy, you're gonna need a long extension to get back in there. But it's also a tan. Try not to break the headlight. And then you do a Phillips, pop that out. This toolbox up here. Mm -hmm. Man, I miss I miss having a garage to work on. Work in. <laughs> not work on it, but work inside of it. See if we can find a stove here. Mm -hmm. Maybe. All right, so now, once you get that out, you can just pull your headlight out. And it gives you access to your bulbs. And this is something I had never seen before. It's kind of weird. That's how you lock in your, your light. Think my hands will fit in those? <laughs> <laughs> get them gloves on and play it safe.
Ooh. Yeah, it's a little warm. Just hit the thumb, but that's all right. <laughs> Just throw some more lavender oil on there. If only you could carry a knife on a plane, I'd have mine. <laughs> you just can't do that. So pop that clip off. just your plug and you gotta take that little screw thing off and put it on your new lens new light I guess I should say little lens stuff that in there show them so you gotta put this cover on like this like this piece luckily we got the old ones so your light you gotta stick your light in there and then make sure that those little tabs are the shallow side is facing the light and then screw it on and then it's good and now you guys can actually hear the old fan kick on that's pretty cool kicked on right back here to cool off the light and then you just plug it back in and we got to stick it this is going to be the after and this is the before so a total once we get that light in there gets you a full like side to side view of that i prefer this look right over here over this any day all right so now we're looking at the light trying to I'm going to just a little bit, see what it does going the opposite way. Make sure we got them lined up right before we tighten everything in. If we can get it back in on. <laughs> Let's do what it looks like the other way first. So there we go, now you can you can see how it's hitting over here too. Straight on. Now we're gonna put the headlight assembly back in. And then bolt it all down. Put the brush guard back on and then go do the same thing on the other side. So that's how it's done. I don't I don't really want to show you guys both sides because you'll see but we will show you what it looks like when it's completely done so stay tuned for that there we go before and after right there before after now we need to get that thumbnail pick all right there we go Dims are the same, but the bright passenger is higher. Lower. Uh oh. Oh. The heck? <laughs> the heck? That's weird what's going on there. So those are just your normal? I guess I better just drive the normals. Headlights and then your brights are the ones that are flickering.
You got a strobe and bright light. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Dang, that's what I need to get my roof rack for so I can put mine on Dora. Because I do have some strobing lights for her, but I don't want to screw it into the body because I legit would have to screw it in to each panel. And I'm not about to do that to Dora. But man, that looks pretty good. Just need some black wheels on here. What's next? <laughs> then uh, may maybe I ought to mail them a big Arctic Vet decal down here. Spin across the whole back. <laughs> Anyways, there you guys go. We won't really mess with the brights because, well, you know what? We got a bright light right there. That is the bright light. Oh, it's gonna be, oof, dang. You don't need no bright when you got a light bar like that. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, if this video helped you out, smash that thumbs up. Drop a comment down below and let us know. If you got a Dodge, comment Dodge down there because I, I'm more of a Chevy guy myself, but I like this. So click that red subscribe button. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. With your guys' help and three of your friends, we're gonna get there in no time. And maybe, just maybe, you can help me get some, I don't even, is that limousine tent? That stuff is so dark. I need some of that back Fast home. Double five. Look at that. Oof, it's like a mirror. We'll catch you guys tomorrow in another video. Have a great day, God bless. Run me some Florida.